Welcome back to another edition of Myth Badger videos. Let's take the crank and slider we built in a prior video and talk about its mechanics. Now before we dive into the mechanics a bit, as always, let's take a look which of these two pieces is going to be our input. If you identified the input being here, our cam, or in this case our crank, you are correct. We see that the handle is attached, so that makes this our input gear and the slider is our output gear. But let's talk now about the mechanics. We see one big important piece in this, and that is the type of motion that we see in this system. So if I turn this handle, what type of motion am I seeing in the crank? If you identified it as rotary motion, you would be correct. We are turning in a circle. But what's happening over here with the slider? Now, at first glance, it might look like linear motion, but we'll notice that the linear motion is back and forth. In fact, with one full turn of the crank, we're seeing back and forth linear motion, which means this is actually reciprocating motion. So we're changing from rotary motion to reciprocating motion, which is a little bit unique about this gear system. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about gear ratio. See, gear ratio on a crank and slider is a little bit harder to figure out because we can't really look at it in the traditional sense of a gear ratio. Instead, what we need to look at is we need to look at how far is the slide truck moving for a turn of the crank. So to do that, I've got a ruler here, and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna, let's get this at the one end. So there's, there's the extreme. So we're at one end of this slide. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this ruler up here. And let's line the ruler up so we're right at zero. And um, due to the angle of the camera, let's, let's get this lined up. So looking down on it, here is zero. So let's move that a little bit so it lines up in the camera too. So here's zero. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the crank just enough. I'm going to turn the crank just enough that we're going to get this at the other end of its motion. So right there. Okay, now let's slide this over very carefully. And here is where it's lined up. And we see that it's actually sitting at about three and a half inches. So that means this whole slide truck moves three and a half inches when I'm turning this crank. Now to figure that out, where's that three and a half inches coming from? Well, we can see it here. If I line this up, we find that the diameter of this uh, cam is three and a half inches, or at least it's three and a half inches here along the semi-major axis. That's the longer of the diameters. Semi-minor axis would be here. It's the distance from this side across. So minor, major. So the distance across, or the diameter across the semi-major axis, defines how far the slide truck's going to move. If I want to increase or decrease this distance, I'm going to have to increase or decrease the crank or the cam in this case. So that defines, a, that's kind of the equivalent of a gear ratio for the system, even though we're not actually using a traditional gear ratio formula. So, okay, the next two pieces. We want to look at the flow of power. Now remember, flow of power means can I make the input turn by moving the output. So if I were to slide this back and forth, can I make this system work? So let's give it a shot. Now you may notice that while I'm able to move it, I'm not getting a full circle out of the crank. So if I'm not getting a full circle out of the crank, is this reversible or not? If you're saying it's not reversible, you are correct. So we have a non-reversible flow of power. What about direction of travel? Can I turn this handle both directions? Or in other words, can I do this in forward and reverse? So let's give that a shot. So here's forward, here's reverse. And we see that we can go both directions on this. So the direction of travel is reversible on this system. Okay, so that covers the major points of the crank and slider gear. Um, again, we have an input for the um, crank, an output slide truck. We have the rotary motion in the input. We have reciprocating motion in the output. 
we can define how far the side truck will move based on the diameter of the semi-major axis of the crank. We have a non-reversible flow of power, but we do have a reversible uh, direction of travel. So thank you for watching. Feel free to hit that subscribe button to keep up with all of our other tutorials here at MythBadger Videos.